Hey guys, I'm Adriana and today I'm going to show you how to configure a ShadowSox client and server. Update app repository. First, we're going to install unzip utility. We'll knit this utility to unarchive the V2Ray package. Head into the GitHub repository of V2Ray Core, find the latest release from the release section, and copy the URL of the release package that suits your OS. Here I'm choosing Linux 64-bit since I'm using the Ubuntu 22.04. Let's create a separate directory within slash opt for this and download the package file. Now unarchive the downloaded file using the unzip command. All right, we have the v2ray config files and the executables right here. V2Ray uses JSON configuration files. I have prepared a straightforward V2Ray configuration for serving a simple ShadowSox proxy. Let's copy that JSON config to here. We now need to make some changes. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm changing the port to a random port number. Let's just say 2068. Leave protocol to ShadowSox and a password. I hope you use a more secure password. So the configuration file is now ready. We can run the ShadowSox server using this very config file in current TTY. However, I need the V2Ray process to always run in the background and not to terminate when I close my terminal. That's where system D comes to help us. Fortunately, V2Ray provides a ready-to-use system file that we can use. Open the v2ray.service file within systemd directory. As I said, it's all ready, but we need to change paths to valid them on the system. Since I've unarchived the v2ray package at slash opt slash v2ray, I'm changing the path to that. Copy this file to slash edc slash systemd slash system, and by running system CDL daemon reload, systemd will search for all the new system files and register their service. Now that V2Ray service is registered, I have to start the V2Ray service and you can see that it's starting with no trouble. We're done configuring the ShadowSox service. Now I'm going to show you how to connect to this ShadowSox server on Windows. Head on to the ShadowSox Windows repository on GitHub and download the latest release file. When the file is downloaded, run the ShadowSox executable within the zip file. Fill in these boxes with the same information from the v2ray config file. and click on OK. You can turn the connection on or off from your system tray. Let me enable the connection and I can verify this by checking my public IP address. And that's my IP right there. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure to check out our link in the caption for more information.